The View, high above our broadcast location tonight, the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Hi, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. It's a Monday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Matthews and Middleton, the two wing. And it's Bledsoe in at the one spot. And for Los Angeles, we've got Kawhi Leonard. Torres is out there with Montrez Harrell. Then it's Paul George. And it's Williams at the point guard position. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. Now here's Harold. Leonard inside, defended by Middleton. George passes to Leonard. Clock at six. Antetokounmpo pulls it in, and it's the Bucks ball. Bledsoe left side. Back to Antetokounmpo. Pass to Bledsoe. Over in the corner, Antetokounmpo. That three off the mark. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. To the paint. Here's Harrell. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. Harrell's got the first points up on the board here for Los Angeles. Here's Milwaukee now. A shot by Kumbo. Nobody around. Gets an open look and hits. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Now Williams. Morris inside. Guarded by Bledsoe. George double teamed. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And it's Leonard missing. Here's Bledsoe, and the rejection by Leonard. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And so it's Milwaukee now. Anadokounmpo kicks to Bledsoe. Kicks it down to Middleton. And the three off target. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. This is his first free throw of the game. At about an 82% clip a season ago, so I'm sure he'll take those numbers. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys, uh, for any team. Coming down the stretch in close games, you've got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, you feel good about it. And a guy who's bounced around the league a little. Surprising, given that Morris is a solid shooter and a pretty good defender and rebounder. Pass to Lopez. Over Harrell. And the shot is long. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Here's Leonard up and in on the layup. Talk about someone who knows all the angles. Kawhi on the interior. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Giannis outside. The shot's good. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Williams. The dish to Harrell. The kick out to Williams. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Lou Williams, so crafty, G.A., just a knack for putting the ball in the basket. 
This guy just has the gift. I mean, it's been that way forever. He is just a born scorer. The Clippers in the lead. Right side, Williams. Leonard, the pass to Williams. Back to Leonard from past the arc. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got four rebounds now tonight. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Now George, following the three-point attempt by Eric Bloodson. Williams finds George. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. But they'll get another chance. Morris against Middleton. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And here's up to the Kumbo outside. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for Harrell. Green comes in for Marcus Morris. Landry Shamit's checked in for George. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Bucks. Over in the corner, Green. And it's Beverly atop the key. And the shot goes in. And, you know, Beverly has great speed. Snake-like in how he slips through the defense on the drive. To the right side. The shot by Bledsoe. Nobody around. Off target with his three. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. Leonard, the pass to Zubats. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Jackson, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Bucks trail by six. Passes it to DiVincenzo. And the rejection by Zubats. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Beverly. Lopez with the block. And the space Lopez is able to cover on defense, using that size and length to reject the shot. The Clippers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And they've clearly been the aggressors here early on, drawing fouls and working themselves to the line. And that is always a good recipe for offensive efficiency and a key to their lead tonight. Now here is Hill. There's the pass to Connaughton. Five on the clock. Nice spin off the left rim and in. There's 21 seconds left here in the opening quarter. In the corner. Shamit with it. To the middle. And Green gets it to go. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Hill kicks to Ilias Hope. You're not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. Bucks trail by seven. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Setting the floor for the Bucks. We've got Robin Lopez, George Hill out there with Kyle Corver. And it's Connaughton in at the two. Now Harrell. George Hill missing on the three. 
And Harrell slams it in. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here is Hill. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Lopez outside. Ilyasova against Leonard. Ilyasova can't hit. Clippers leading by nine. Left side, George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And George is very capable at knocking down difficult shots. I mean, because of his size and stroke and ball handling and his added strength, he's able to shoot over good defense and knock them down. Now here's Lopez. Pass to Ilya Sova. Six to shoot. Connington kicks to Ilya Sova. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Pass to Ilias Hova. Hill looking it over. Here's Connaughton. He's covered by Leonard. Here's Lopez. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. It was pretty <laughs> hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I my was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what. I don't know if I would do that today, but, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes, yeah, got my legs taken out uh, from under oh. me and broke the fall with my mm. face. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Jackson, he's checked in for Lou Williams. Williams, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Matthews comes in for Pat Connaughton. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. Now, here's George. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Corver finds Matthews. Now, here is Hill. Outside Corver. Shot clock at six. And here's Matthews from the arc. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And Matthews crosses up the defense with his catch and shoot, Jay. You can't afford to lay off of him. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Outside Hill. Lopez passes to Williams. Passes to Hill from outside the arc and it's the Clippers with the rebound 13 points was their biggest lead in the game and Morris throws it down that's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson using his poise and vision to make a play outside Hill outside Corver. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA and the G League pathway, along with the unionization of G League players. 
the league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. A platoon swap here for Milwaukee. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. From 12 feet out, good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Eric Bledsoe. Jackson against Bledsoe. Jackson kicks to Shamit. Jackson passes to Green. Back to Jackson over Bledsoe. Jackson misses. And so it's Bledsoe with it, bringing it up for Milwaukee. On the wing, DiVincenzo. He's covered by Shamit. Here's Lopez. Green with the rebound. Los Angeles leading by 12. The pass to Jackson. There's 126 left in the first half. Good D by Lopez. The Bucks have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Hey, you know, as dominant as the Greek freak is offensively, the tendency is that people overlook his impact at the other end of the floor. I mean, you could make a case that he might be the league's most versatile defender, too. Here's Mann. Jackson has the open look. Jackson missing again. Loads it up for Giannis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Man passes to Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Yep, it goes. And the Clipper lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Bloodsoe. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Bloodsoe against Jackson. Pass to Zubats. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Los Angeles shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Here's Giannis. He has six. Hits it from three-point range. Ande DeCumbo's got five points now in the quarter. That pull-up shot is unguardable. Can't lay off Giannis for even a second. And so that's the end of the first half. Clippers lead by 10. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Bucks trail by 10. Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Montrez Harrell. And it's Williams at the point. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Matthews, no good. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Now, here's Adedekumbo. He's got nine. Middleton, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Middleton's got his first basket. Well, I tell you what, Middleton getting his hands dirty inside on the glass. We know he can shoot it from outside, but inside points a bonus. And Leonard gets it to go. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. 
Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. That one goes in. Middleton's got four this quarter. Middleton's so good under pressure. He's always composed and under control. Here's Williams. Morris outside. He dishes it to George. George double teamed out to the right wing. Just five to shoot. And he drops in the way up off the glass. George has got six. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Got it. Oh! oh. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. Now here's Williams. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, and Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a mm -hmm. little bit. That, right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Patrick Beverly comes in for Williams. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Iliasov is checked in. Williams comes in for Antetokounmpo. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Here's George. Tries again. A rebound by the Bucks. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. It's stolen by Morris. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And that sends Patrick Beverly to the free throw line. That one on Hill. The Clippers have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Los Angeles making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Even Genzo's checked in. And here's Corver from the arc. Doesn't go that time. The Clippers go the other way with it. Morris inside. He's guarded by Williams. Shamit on the wing. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Morris with the bucket. Hey, Greg, you played in a different era of NBA defense. When you look at how defense is played now in the league, how do you feel about it? You know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching. Uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s. But I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic. It struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now, sports is a microcosm of society as a whole. And we all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, D.A. Timeout called the Bucks. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Patterson comes in for Morris. Rodney Magruder's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Jackson in for Landry Shamit. The box also changing it up. Lopez comes in for Williams. And it's Pat Connington in for Kyle Corver. Now here's DiVincenzo. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Jackson kicks to Beverly. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Magruder passes to Harrell. In the corner, it's Patterson. Outside, Jackson. Back to Patterson. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And the Clippers lead by 16. 
DiVincenzo passes to Hill. Lopez outside. Pass to DiVincenzo. From downtown, sinks the triple. DiVincenzo's got five points in the quarter. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Jackson. Back to Harrell. Nice move. And Harrell slams it in. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Magruder kicks to Patterson. Passes it to Jackson. Back to Patterson. Releases. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Los Angeles. Their lead at 15 going into the break. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the while we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Clippers leading by 15, and Milwaukee looking at who they've got. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Middleton in at the three. Jackson misses. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Get there, get there. Matthews passes to Giannis. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Boy, for such a young player, the razor-sharp focus of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. I mean, a muscular guy who still makes baskets despite getting hit in the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. That's good from Adetokounmpo. Greg is a broadcaster. Who have been some of your favorite personalities to cover? Man, that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars, it, it, I, I'm a big fan of, of Duran and Steph and LeBron and those guys. Chris Paul is another one that, that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these, these guys have working uh, in front of the camera. I think that just makes for uh, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, who was my favorite? You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, you're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> Clippers leading by 12. They kick it out to Green. Dishes it to Harold. Over in the corner, Williams. Here's Jackson. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got three assists now in this one. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Up top, Bledsoe. Trying to get open is Lopez. Another shot, and out of the Kumbo, lays it up and in. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. And the Clippers call time here. You know, growing up in Greece, Giannis Antetokounmpo was so poor, he and his older brother, the Nassis, had to share a pair of tennis shoes. I mean, how about how far he's come since then? Now he's the first foreign-born player ever with his own Nike signature shoe. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. 
He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. And Clark, they say back in Greece, all of Giannis's basketball shoes were hand-me-downs from his teammates. Greg, nothing like not having enough to draw. Oh, the oh. Are you kidding me? Nasty. Man, he's got it going now. And when he's in this kind of a zone, I think the D's happy to just get out of Antetokounmpo's way. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Clippers. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Mind the yeah, lane. Clark, the other Mind thing the that lane. sticks out for me, the Let's number see. of assists they made over the course of this game. Yeah, Ana de Kumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. Stolen by Middleton. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Ana de Kumpo running. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Beverly against Giannis. Morris banked in off the glass. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Bledsoe with it. The pass to out of the Kumbo. And here's Matthews for the three. Morris with the rebound. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Here's Leonard. And the rejection by out of the Kumbo. And out of the Kumbo's seven foot three wingspan. Extraordinary. I mean, he's effective in rejecting shots, bothering shots, and stealing the ball. Los Angeles leading by nine. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Zubats, and he banks in the layup. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. And so onto the Kumba will bring it up for Milwaukee. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Sometimes it's a real trick bag trying to guard onto the Kumpo. I mean, his skill set and build and length and athleticism draws a ton of fouls. That one is no good. Clippers have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Matthews passes to Ana de Kumbo. 152 left in the fourth quarter. And here's Matthews for the three. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got his third assist on the night. And the Clippers call time here. They're in front by seven. We've got 148 left to play in the final quarter. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. These fans love him, and tonight he has given them plenty to cheer about. George against Matthews. And that one's good, George. And the Clippers lead by nine. I love the activity. George is not just a perimeter player, folks. You can depend on him down low, too. Bounce pass from Bledsoe. Here's Hansa Takumbo. That shot missing. And the Clippers will come the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And here is Williams. The rebound by Middleton. Bucks trail by nine. 
unloads. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Nice handles by Middleton. Actually, really impressive handles. Put on the show with that dribbling exhibition. Williams dishes to George. George double teamed. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. That's foul number two for him. And the Bucks making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Green. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. George with the bucket. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by nine. There's 47 seconds left in the game. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Elias Opus checked in. Williams comes in for Antetokounmpo. Sterling Brown is checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Eric Bledsoe. Count it good. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Here's Williams. Pass to Zubats. Right side Leonard. To the paint. Here's George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Here's DiVincenzo. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Outside Williams. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. We always talk about it. I mean, those second-round picks who turn out to be gems, no one thought Williams would end up at the free-throw line as much as he does. And both free-throws good for Williams. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed. Even Chenzo passes to Connaughton. Pulls it up. Off on that one. So the Clippers winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.